The Chinese Navy has launched its newest and most advanced aircraft carrier that will expand its control of the high seas. The Type 003 supercarrier was launched on the 17th of June 2022 by the Jianan shipyard located in Shanghai. A maritime traffic notice by the Chinese authorities restricted the movement of large cargo ships using the nearby routes for the duration of the launch operation. The Type 003 is the country's third aircraft carrier and the second carrier to be built domestically. The ship displaces between 85,000 to 100,000 tons, making it comparable to the American supercarrier, the Ford class. The flight deck is about 320 meters long and 78 meters wide, which is only slightly smaller than the Ford. However, the Type 003 is conventionally powered. The Chinese supercarrier contains a large number of cutting-edge technologies, including integrated electric propulsion and electromagnetic catapult. Unlike China's two active carriers, the Type 003 uses aircraft catapults that will enable a heavier and more diverse air wing. The Type 003 was constructed by the Jianan shipyard in Shanghai. The shipyard is based on an island at the mouth of the Yangtze River. Technically speaking, the construction period between laying the keel and the ship's launch is only two years. But work on the individual modules of the ship began as early as 2016, before they were assembled in the dry dock. The Jianan shipyard produces both commercial and military ships. It has built every type of modern Chinese destroyers and frigates, but no submarines. The launch happened after months of subdued activity at the Jianan shipyard, which was due to lockdown measures aimed at combating the latest COVID outbreaks in Shanghai. The Type 003 carrier has an integrated mast positioned within the island. An integrated electronic mast is a hallmark of modern warships. Throughout naval history, the best position for a ship's radar is on top of the highest point. But this means that multiple sensors tended to be clustered together, which interferes with each other and increases the overall radar signature. The integrated mast resolves this issue by embedding the radars, navigation and communication devices within a single structure. It is designed to permit the various electronic devices to operate simultaneously without mutual interference. It should provide a 360 degree line of sight and a reduction in the radar cross-section, making the carrier more stealthy. The Type 003 carrier also features integrated electric propulsion. This means any turbines or other power generating element within the ship is not connected directly to the propellers. But they are only used to produce electrical power, which is then transferred to the electric motors driving the propellers. This configuration has key advantages. For example, electric motors are quieter than conventional engines, and hence less visible to sonars. The space and weight requirements are also lower compared to conventional diesel or gas propulsion. Integrated electric propulsion is also more versatile in how it distributes the power output. It has the capability to direct electrical power to any individual component, for example the ship's radar or the aircraft catapult, whichever the situation requires. This final point is important because the integrated electric propulsion has good synergy with the carrier's aircraft catapult, which depends on stored energy. The Type 003 carrier has three aircraft launch positions equipped with electromagnetic catapults. They have many advantages over the more traditional steam catapults. Compared to a steam catapult, the electromagnetic catapult allows for a greater takeoff weight and places less strain on the airframes, reducing the wear and tear. It also allows for a higher sortie rate. It is also easier to maintain. 
the Chinese Navy has basically skipped a whole generation of aircraft catapults by going straight for the electromagnetic version and bypassing the steam catapults. Reportedly, this decision delayed the launch of the Type 003 by one year, but it also means that the Chinese Navy is getting a supercarrier that is more comparable technologically with the US Navy. The aircraft catapult will allow for the operation of heavier aircraft than what is possible on the two active carriers. This includes the KJ-600 early warning and control aircraft, an important force multiplier. It should feature a very large ASAR radar, which will massively expand the vision and the situation awareness of the carrier battle group and its air wing. The KJ-600 will also be a key node in the battle management and the combat network of carrier fighters. The combat air wing is expected to include the J-15T, the upgraded version of the J-15 fighter that is compatible with aircraft catapults. It is a 4.5 generation jet fighter, equipped with a state-of-the-art ASAR fire control radar and also China's latest air-to-air -air warfare missiles. They include the PL-10 short-range missile and the PL-15 beyond visual range missile. The J-15T can also carry a heavy load of anti-ship weapons, and because of the aircraft catapult, the J-15T can take off with this heavy weight. The Type 003 carrier will also field the J-35, a fifth-generation carrier fighter under development. The J-35 meets the new norms of stealthy aircraft design. For example, it has carefully aligned angles, blended surfaces, and anti-radar coating. Chinese analysts expect the J-35 to be on par with the US Navy's fifth-generation carrier fighters, the F-35B and F-35C. The Chinese Navy has also built up a large blue water naval force to escort the Type 003 carrier. To defend against aerial threat, the Type 003 can call upon the Type 55 and the Type 52D air warfare destroyers. To defend against submarines, the aircraft carrier can rely upon the numerous Chinese frigates and corvettes which are well equipped with towed array sonars and variable depth sonars. All told, the Type 003 carrier is comparable in terms of dimensions to the supercarriers of the US Navy. It has an integrated electronic mast, integrated electric propulsion, and electromagnetic catapult. It will also have a very capable and diverse air wing. The Type 003 can be rightfully considered the best conventional carrier in the world.